Coleman takes the snap, steps back to throw, rolls to the right, looking downfield, going to heave it towards the end zone. Near the back of the end zone. The ball is knocked away or is it caught? It is caught! I don't believe it! Touchdown, Arizona! Arizona has just won the game! The Cats have won it on the final play! (laughs) It was certainly caught. Arizona rallying from an 18-point deficit to beat Cal on Saturday night. Caleb Jones with nearly 190 yards receiving and three touchdowns in the victory. And the Cats top wide out. And the guy just named Pac-12 Offensive Player of the Week joining us now. Caleb, what a difference a year makes for you. You sat out last year, transferred from Texas after some off-field issues. And this year, number two in the nation with six TD catches already. Can you share the emotion that you were feeling when you sent out that really emotional, thankful tweet after the game? Just, It's just overwhelming, you know. Uh, it's the greatest feeling I've ever felt in my life, and I just never thought things would turn out to be this way this fast. You mentioned Rich Rodriguez and thanked him in your post-game press conference. Can you talk about the dynamic between the two of you and how it's helped you along? Just Coach Rod's helped me so much, just to grow as a man in the year I've sat out, and um, just how much pressure he puts on me and the rest of the team just to develop as as a person more more than a football player. So, you know, I'm, I'm just so thankful for the opportunity he's given me, and. and the chance he's given me to show what I can do on the field. And and each week it just keeps getting better and better. I want to talk about East Carolina with you for a sec. Your dad, Robert, was pretty much the best linebacker ever to play there. Your uncle, Jeff Lake, was a stud quarterback. Your little brother, Isaiah, is one of the top receivers right now. As somebody who knows that program really well, how good do you think they are? Just, I think a lot of people underestimate East Carolina and just the amount of athletes they have and, and Coach Ruff and, um, Coach Lincoln Riley, their offensive coordinator, they do a really good job of spreading the ball out and uh, putting teams in difficult situations. So, you know, they've done so good so far. I wish they would have beat South Carolina a couple weeks ago. They're in a really, they're in a really high rank, so um, they're doing really well. No, they certainly came close. All right, I know you're the older brother, but let's talk skill sets here. Is there an area <laughs> where maybe he's a little more polished than you are, or are you just going to say, it's all me? No, you know, I can never do that. I've learned a lot from my little brother, which is really weird. And um, just, you know, his work ethic, even off the field, is just amazing. And, um, you know, Isaiah's really quick, runs really good routes, great hands, and he's tough. He's a tough little kid, so <laughs> tough he makes little things kid. work. I'm sure he's going to be thrilled to hear you said that about him. <laughs> All right, let's get back to your team. You got Oregon coming up after the bye. They've got a pretty decent corner in Ifo Ekpre Olamu. I'm sure you've heard of him. Give me a percentage chance you go up to Eugene and pull the upset. You know, um, that's that's something we've been dreaming about, you know, ever since last year. And, um, you know, we don't we don't look at it as an upset. You know, here in this program, we pride ourselves in it, working hard and um, playing well on the field. So, you know, we're going to treat it like any other game. And this is the biggest game on our schedule because it's the next one, not because it's Oregon. So, um, you know, we're confident. We're going to work on a lot of things, a lot of fundamentals this week, defense, defensively, offensively, and um, hopefully go up there and get the dub. What gives you the confidence you can win? Coach Rod. You know, it starts from head to toe. And I think, um, you know, just the confidence in our coaching staff and and just our players and our quarterback. And, um, you know, Jared Tevis does a really good job leading our defense. So um, we just – we know we have great players. We know we have a great system. So, I mean, we're not treating it like, you know, they're the Seattle Seahawks or anything, but – Oregon's a great program. They have been, and we're going we're gonna to work hard and, and play good. Arizona receiver Caleb Jones, the Pac-12 Offensive Player of the Week. Caleb, congratulations on a great start. Thanks for stopping by Campus Insiders. Thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it.